Okay, I'm going to get straight into it. I've recently had the opportunity to talk to the original, quote-unquote original, creator of PBBV with Jamin and Cracker. Uh, we discussed the reason he started what he did and why he did so and what he's been doing. Uh, here's what he had to say. What a... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I was, I was going to first ask, are you PBVV? Or is it somebody else who's going around doing all the noises? She's there? right there. Chi. So Chi. that's PBVV, the Chi. siren. Yep. Are there actual are there actually people going around banning others in the game? Is there somebody actually doing that? It was either yesterday or the day before where somehow they disconnected my display port and my USB to my computer. I don't know how they did that, but my VR just wouldn't turn on for a day. Okay, so you're not the person so you base PVV, you base your energy off of other people's sightings and experiences. But you're not the sole creator of this entity. Well, see, honestly, I'm a little confused myself. Because originally, I did name it PV. I created my first video with Cats, which is the other person who made the ARG with me. Uh, we made this first video. I'm pretty sure it was my character, Rebecca, flashing on screen. What? I have a question. The first of August, probably. Why are they doing this? Why do you know why PBV is doing it? Not at all. Our so you have no ties to the people who are making other players invisible or bugging out people's games or anything like that? No, but from what I've seen, I, I think that somehow it is split. I made my original video and since then VR player made his first Reddit post and then it snowballed from there. So then it, both sides are now completely different. PPPV on the VR player, like, version of the law, is a monkey. My version, it's just the siren. That's the name for the siren. But, but, but like, when you started the name... Oh yeah, sorry, go for it. I don't wanna do that. No, I was just gonna say, so, basically, PPPV started your siren ARG, and then VR Player 100 started the monkey ARG, but where did the name come from? How did it start? Like, this entity okay. that was so mysterious. So so basically what he was saying was that he created a video with flashing lights and just in case it were to take off he didn't want people with epilepsy to watch the video so he took it down and created what is now Radio Connect PBV and that someone, we don't know who, decided to go recreate it but in game which then VR Player 100 made his post which took the situation to the extreme. So from what I've heard, it's just, is, is the siren evil? Is, is the siren like bad or is it? The whole premise since the start, since like March, was that something in the game would be, there would be a hack group. They would make a replica of the game where if you join certain codes, you would go into that replica and you wouldn't be able to get it out. And then the siren came in and then I'm like, okay. We have to make it so that that's the whole thing. That is hacked, and then if you go to a certain room, it will play. Like, it will be in the replica of the game, it plays, like, random things. If you go to Cat's channel, there is actually a video of the first ever audio that was played on the replica. Are you the, P like, the number PBBV off of Reddit? Are, are, is that you? Or is no, that somebody else? None of my, none of my lore is from Reddit. Okay, so I don't want to make this video too long of just him talking, but I began asking him questions about his most recent video, besides him exposing his identity, the frown face video, which had a lot of hidden messages. I asked him about Jane Jones, which is the squish text at the bottom of the video, and on the left is clearly PBBV. If you listen closely, you can hear a hidden audio message which is saying 38 disobeyed. And I'll let him explain this part. Who's uh who's Jane Jones? Uh, okay. Jane Jones is and since the ARG is also over, Jane Jones 
is Paul Jones's daughter. Basically, it was a text-to-speech robot that was saying that 38 disappointed him because 38 is the one that crashed me. That was the chip spy that crashed me. Uh, it also says, I'll make it quick, just get on the stage. Because if you look in the photo that is hidden in that video, it is me as the monkey on yeah, stage I saw and that. talking to a bunch of chip spies. Yeah, I saw that. So basically, well, not good, but... you create a video, PBBV, someone takes that, implements it into the game. You continue with your ARG, VR Player 100 makes a Reddit post launching two different branches of PBV, mm. one in-game and one out-of-game. Two different stories completely. Now we have your side, but this still doesn't explain the tones that we hear. Well, actually, that was from your video, but it doesn't explain how people are going invisible in these other weird occurrences. Yeah, that's that are true. In game. Uh, there might be there out. might be a specific group of players making their own mods to be able to replicate this whole thing. Because I mean, any mod can be made. It's just you have to have the skill to do it. I'm sure there's people yeah, out there. Yeah, right. publicly available. Mod installment onto XP Watch or an update for it. You can't keep it, and then you need to agree to that to install it hmm so I mean I've yeah, seen sorry. I've seen players with invisible uh, <laughs> so <laughs> um so yeah I've seen I've seen plenty of players with uh invisible names but you know making the leaderboard corrupted and turning everyone invisible is something I haven't seen yet uh, and I also have yet to see people get kicked from lobbies, which I had a friend earlier telling me that he's always <laughs> oh, he's be <laughs> Yeah. So I mean, I've had I've had I've had friends. <laughs> he woke up. You can. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry about him. Uh, so. <laughs> like ten minutes. I'm sorry. My I have friends telling me that he he watched other players get kicked and all this other stuff and just things that. PB or wait, uh, PB PBB. <laughs> I genuinely, I genuinely fell asleep in VR. We know, we know where it began. We know halfway of what it is now, and we have an insider's look on where it could be taken and how it's being done. So essentially, you're done. We have your story closed off, sealed. Whether this, yep. is, this was real or not, I had a wonderful time investigating. It was amazing. But there's still more out there. And we're gonna figure it out.